Hey, this is Steve from Samori, and today we're going to bring you a new product called Recon Imager. It's our next evolution in imagers specifically for Mac imaging. Uh, we saw a need come up uh, recently, or actually for the last few months, um, with all the new Mac hardware that's coming out and the new technologies that's coming out, um, more and more issues were popping up regards to imaging. So we have Paladin. So you guys are probably familiar with Paladin if you're watching this video. Uh, Paladin's great. We love it. We put it out there. You know, it's, it's, we're trying to help. Um, problem is, it's based on Ubuntu, and we've been running into issues with newer hardware, specifically Macs, core storage, fusion disks, file vault. All that can be done with Paladin as long as it can boot, and it's supported by Ubuntu. So Ubuntu and its community is, takes time to actually catch up with these drivers. We didn't want our customers to wait. So a lot of people contact us going, hey, I got this new 2016 MacBook Pro. What am I going to do to image it? I'm not getting Paladin to boot. So we decided to actually uh, move forward on creating a new imager, which is Recon Imager. Looks very similar to Paladin Pro. It's not an upgrade to Paladin Pro. It's actually a separate new product. So what this does, there's actually a quin 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 quintuple boot system. Yep, I say quintuple. So quintuple boot system, which means five boot options. So you still have the Paladin Pro features. So we included Paladin Pro on this, which is three different versions of Paladin, and it's full forensics lab on a disk. So you're getting literally a full forensics lab on a disk, no need for write proctors. We took it to the next level by adding two different versions of Mac OS. Why two different versions of Mac OS? One for the older Macs, Intel Macs, and one for the newest, newest Intel Macs, which we'll show you here in a second. So we need to be able to make sure that we cover everything. So there's actually, when you boot to this, you'll see two options. You'll see uh, Recon Imager Default as a boot option, and you'll see Recon Imager Newer Macs. Newer Macs supports all the new MacBooks uh, that have come out recently, the MacBook Pros, including the ones with the touch bar. Um, this is, as far as I know right now, the only thing that works, as is the time of this filming, to actually do the newer MacBook Pros. And we've tried. We've tried to get everything else to work. So we also wanted to put a tool out there, an imaging tool, that actually fits within your budget. So other options that are available there are quite expensive. This is $399. That is US dollars, in case you're in Canada and you're asking me questions. Um, but yes, $399 US. Um, again, it's fully featured. Um, it covers, nice thing about it, based since it's running Mac OS, it's actually automatically interpreting file vault Fusion, core storage, everything is under control. It's easily identified on the screen, as you can see here. We even color code it for you, of course, with our company colors because that's important. But you can actually see here, and I'll, if you can see my finger, we have core storage identified. And then it actually, with the LVM or the core storage, creates a new disk, and that is easily displayed as well. So you absolutely know which drive to image. You can actually image the physical disk and bring it back into a Mac, or you can actually image the uh, core storage volume and bring it into a Mac. Um, you can also use this to make a decrypted file vault image or any other image with it and put it into any other tool. So this is not just for Macs only. I mean, there are benefits of doing Mac on Mac. If you guys know me, you know I say that all the time. However, you can make an image with this and use it on other forensics tools. So one of the other benefits of Recon Imager that we've included is a RAM Imager. So in addition to having the disk imager that handles file vault, fusion drives, core storage automatically, we have a RAM imager. The purpose of the RAM imager is to give you the ability to attempt to actually image previous sessions RAMs. So if you've done some research on this and testing, um, which we have, we've actually been able to use our RAM imager to capture previous session data and artifacts that existed from a previous boot session if you're careful or quick enough to reboot. So, and we can cover that more in a later episode. Um, so with Recon Imager, again, just to summarize it, we'll, we'll do more videos in the future here if you stay tuned to our channel um, on tips and tricks, how to use it and how to work it. Um, but for right now, just to sum it up, um, it's, it's on a 16 gig thumb drive, USB 3.0. It's 3.99. It has all versions of Paladin on it. It has two versions of Mac OS that have been modified, so there's no rights to any devices. It has the Mac imager that supports Fusion, File Vault, Core Storage, all Mac technologies. It boots all Intel Macs from 2007 onward, where Intel Macs came out, and it includes a RAM imager, which we can use to, um, again, try to pull artifacts back from previous sessions, which, again, we'll cover in, in different episodes. So this is just a quick introduction. If
If you have any questions, please feel to contact us or anybody from our team. And please stay tuned and subscribe as we will put more videos up in the future so that we can teach you more tips and tricks about Recon Imager and a lot more of our products. Thank you. <laughs>